This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we are given n integers as input. So here the value of n is equal to 5. So totally there are 5 boxes and all these integers represents the distance of every box from warehouse. So the first box is placed at 7 units from warehouse and the second box is placed at 3 units from warehouse. So like this the remaining integers also represents the distance between the box and warehouse. And now it is given in the question that a boy has to collect all these boxes and place them into the warehouse. So we have to find the minimum distance with which the boy can put all these boxes into warehouse. So let us see how to solve this. First let us assume this is warehouse and then the first box is placed at 7 units from warehouse. So it will be somewhat here and the second box is placed at 3 units from warehouse. So it will be here and then the third box is 8 units from warehouse. So it will be after 7 and then the fourth box is 5 units. So it will be between 3 and 7 and then the fifth box is placed 11 units from warehouse. So it will be somewhat here. So now here we can see the values are sorted. So our first task is to sort this array. And now we have to find the total distance covered by the boy. So initially the total distance is equal to 0. And now it is given in the question that the boy always starts from warehouse. So to cover the minimum distance we have to complete all the things that are present at the maximum first. So the box that is present foremost is 11 units from warehouse. So initially the boy starts from warehouse and picks up this box that is present 11 units and stores it into warehouse. So from warehouse to the box the distance is 11 units. So the boy would have covered 11 units and now after picking the box the boy should take another 11 units to reach warehouse. So 11 units and it is also given in the question that the boy can carry two boxes in every shift. So now the boy has traveled till 11 and took this box. So now he is carrying only one box in his hand and now return he should carry 11 units and he will be traveling towards warehouse and another box is located 8 units from warehouse and the boy is carrying only one box in his hand. So he can also pick up this box with him. So with total 22 units the boy would have taken the last two boxes and stored it into warehouse. So now remaining there are only 3 boxes. Now the foremost box from warehouse is 7 because the last two boxes are already inside the warehouse. So the boy travels from warehouse to picking location so that will be 7 units and then from picking location to warehouse it is another 7 units so total 14 units and the boy would have also taken this box because it is along the way in which he travels and the boy is also carrying only one box in him so he would have taken this two box and placed them into warehouse and now there is only one box left so it is three units from warehouse so from warehouse the boy would take 3 units and then after picking the box another 3 units to reach warehouse. So total 3 plus 3 6. So when we add all these that would be the minimum distance required for the boy to take all the boxes and put into warehouse. So it will be 22 plus 14 plus 6. And then 14 plus 6 is 20 and 20 plus 22 is 42. So our expected output is also 42. So to solve this problem what we will be doing is we will be multiplying the integers present in the array by 2 from last. So the last is 11. So first we will multiply 11 by 2 and then we will add the value with 7 into 2. So we will ignore this 8 because while we take the last box itself we would have taken the last previous also. So we should leave this. So we should leave one integer in between. So first we should multiply 11 into 2 and then add it with 7 into 2 and then again add it with 3 into 2. 
so we should leave integers one by one and multiply all the integers with two from last so when we do like this we get our expected output now let us see how to write a C program for this so let us start with our main function first I am creating an integer n and in the next line I am accepting the value of integer n and then I am creating an integer array named arr of size n and then using a for loop I am accepting n integers as input and storing it into the array arr so now first we have to sort this array arr so to sort I am going to make use of this qsort function so this is a predefined function available in C so within the arguments I am passing the name of the array arr and the number of elements in the array arr so totally there are n integers so I am passing n and then I am passing size of int because our array arr is an integer array and finally I am passing the comparator function so this is a user defined function which I have defined above so this function returns the difference between the integer values of a and b so it would return the values greater than 0 or less than 0 or equal to 0 so when we return like this our integer array would be sorted in ascending order so we can sort our array using qsort or we can also use any sorting techniques like bubble sort or selection sort so now after sorting our array we must calculate the total distance covered so to do that I am creating a new integer and setting its value to 0 so initially the distance covered would be 0 and now first the boy would be taking the box from last so I am creating a loop that iterates from n minus 1 till 0 and I am decrementing the value of i by 2 because we must consider only the integers that is present after another integer so we are starting from last and decrementing the integers by 2 and in every iteration of this loop I am adding distance covered with double the value present in the array arr so when we do like this we get our desired output so finally I am printing the value of distance covered as output now let us check our program with sample test cases so I have given the sample input 1 and our expected output is 42 so we also get 42 and now I have given the sample input 2 and our expected output is 258 so we also get 258 so this is the logic behind today's daily challenge thank you for watching